Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. It is the start of Bookoplathon, the 48 hour readathon over this weekend. It's just about to turn midnight, turn into Saturday. If you don't know, this readathon is entirely live. There are four hour live shows running throughout the 48 hours. I'm hosting one of them, we have a whole host of other people as well, clearly. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in really quick and tell you the plan as it currently stands because I'm about to watch the first, the very first live show which is running until 4am and I am hoping to watch the entirety of it or at least stay until 3am. A lot of people do nap before starting a readathon but my sleeping pattern at the minute has fallen back into slight insomnia, hopefully not permanent insomnia, but I am going to put it to use because at the minute I have been falling asleep around 3 or 4am so I might as well read in that time. <laughs> so the plan is to sleep somewhere between 3am, 4am until 9 a.m. because I've been running on five hours sleep recently and that's completely fine for me so that's what I'll be doing hopefully so the plan is to wake up at nine get ready go for a walk or while listening to an audiobook do some random things and make it back in time for my live show which is happening at midday the exciting thing about this is that I have set myself a challenge because one of the very first prompts is to read a fantasy book so I have set myself the challenge to read The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson the entire book within these 48 hours, as well as other books. <laughs> Hopefully, within this 48 hours. It's a big book, how many pages is this? This is 760-ish pages. This is definitely doable because the audiobook fits within 48 hours and I'll be listening to it on a quicker speed. So it's just a case of me actually sitting down and dedicating all of my time to reading, <laughs> which I find difficult to do. Challenge accepted. I've been saying for far too long that I need to read this book. I've been saying it since 2017. Now is the time, because even if I don't finish the book within the 48 hours, I will at least read a big chunk of it and be well on my way to doing so. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. So I am going to go and watch the live show now and I will come back in the morning when I'm looking much more presentable than this. But I did just want to start off the vlog, lay out my plans, the plan at the minute, watch the live, drink tea, have snacks, read the book. Let's do it. I'm collecting them, I think is, this is how, it is called this is how we lose the time war, is that kind of like that? Hello, it is now Saturday evening. I realise that I haven't done a vlog update, I thought I had, but it turns out that was just a live show I was doing. <laughs> so I was hosting one of the live shows throughout the majority of today, and so I haven't popped in to vlog. But I ended up having quite a big break from reading actually after that live show because I get so exhausted <laughs> from doing live shows and had what I would consider a flare-up, so I just crashed afterwards and needed a bit of time to come to, I guess. I'm now prepared to get back to reading. So I'm now just under 300 pages into The Well of Ascension and I am really enjoying this. It took me quite a while to get into it because even though I understood what had happened in the previous one, there is actually a summary in the back of this book of book one. So it wasn't a case of me just forgetting what happened in the first book, it was more forgetting the side characters in the world, I guess. So getting used to the Alamancy again and things like that. But I can say that I am now back in the world and just really intrigued by what's going on. We have armies coming from different directions. We have raised intentions between relationships and I'm just intrigued because we have still a lot to go. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited to find out. I'm also finding it funnier than I remember the final empire being. Although I did read that a long time ago and that's not something that I would particularly remember so maybe it wasn't there as well but 
Some of the dialogue between the characters in here is cracking me up and I love it, so huge praise for that. I forgot to mention as well that this is fulfilling the fantasy prompt from Roll Drop 1. And then during the sprints, I did actually also pick up and read in its entirety A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. So this one, we follow a boy whose brother has been shot and died. And so this book is basically the process of him standing in an elevator as it's going down the floors with the intention of shooting the person who shot his brother. Now on every floor, a different person comes into the elevator and has a kind of discussion with him. So that's what this book is. Now, this was an incredibly quick read because it is written in verse and so there are some pages like this which just don't have that many words on the page. There are also illustrations here and there and it was one of those books which I was just so impressed with how much it managed to convey in so few words. I said it before about verse books because I don't necessarily love them but whenever I do read one which just really hits the mark I am impressed because of that. I also found myself more impressed with the actual formatting of the book than I thought I would be because the placement of the text on the page helps you pick up a tone to the voice in the book and so it was just really effective. You could get the meaning and the understanding that was trying to be portrayed through these words completely and it was a really heart-wrenching read because you realise what's going on maybe halfway through and then it just gets like more and more impactful as you read. So high praise for this. I'm really glad that I finally read it because I've had this one for a little while now. And this one fulfilled both prompts from Roll Drop 2, which were to read a book with POC rep and also to read a contemporary. So that's good for me, which means that so far I have read just under 600 pages so far in this readathon which I am quite impressed with, if I do say so myself. <laughs> the aim for tonight is to read another 100 pages of The Will of Ascension, which I think can be easily done, because then I will be halfway through at the halfway point of the readathon. So I reckon I've got this in the bag. I'm feeling confident, but we'll see how it goes, because impromptu nap earlier, they can happen at any time. <laughs> So I'm going to cozy up, put on pyjamas, take off makeup and set up a kind of cozy corner downstairs in my reading chair because I just don't want to sit in my bed anymore and my bed has a higher risk of naps so we're gonna vacate this area and make a new one downstairs. <laughs> Sunday and I am just under 500 pages into The Well of Ascension. So we're making good progress. We only have 200 and something pages to go. So I'm still feeling pretty confident. I'm still enjoying it. I really like where the plot is going and I find it fascinating because they're kind of just like building a new political system. So we have a lot of political intrigue going on in this fantasy, which is always my favorite thing. So this is going really well. I am actually about to go on a walk, a longer walk than I have done in a while. I kind of had to psych myself up for it because I haven't been out of the house in general in far longer than I care to admit, but also just I'm going further away than usual because every weekend I used to go for really long walks. And I haven't been able to do that for about a year now, so I'm really missing it. So I've decided to go on a longer walk than usual to a different place. And it's like, because I used to have agoraphobia, so it's kicking that anxiety back in a little bit, but I am not letting it win. So we're gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna listen to the audiobook while I'm walking and we're gonna have a nice time. It's hard when you 
the things you gotta do Always moving forward, always on the go I hope you take a moment to take it slow Let me be the one to be We are now on Tuesday. I completely forgot to wrap up this vlog. I'm not too sad about leaving it a while because it means I've been able to kind of put together my thoughts on the books a little bit more. Granted not too much because I have been completely brain dead since doing that but I can confirm I did finish reading The Well of Ascension within the 48 hour book up -lathon, and also Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. So I read just over 1000 pages. I think it was like 1087 or something. So I feel highly accomplished right now. Although I'm sad to say that I don't have too many thoughts on this book specifically because I just found it a bit repetitive. Now I think this is definitely something that was affected by the amount of time that I read it in because if I was reading this over a longer period of time I would have had more of a break between me picking up on topics being repeated again or coming back to again and it did make sense that these topics were coming back up because it is a recurring thing. When you're reading it within 48 hours it just seems like every two minutes they're mentioning the same three topics and it did get a little bit tedious, I won't lie. I really don't feel like there's too much of a plot to this because from the beginning you know that there's this threat lurking outside <laughs> and the entire thing <laughs> is just that which I guess is fine because it is a big problem but also <laughs> I need to swap hands, I'm not good at doing this. So yes, I didn't really find myself too invested in this and I will say that I've rated this 3.5 stars, which is the lowest rated book I've rated of Brandon Sanderson so far. So I've read obviously The Final Empire and also Elantris. Elantris I got into so quickly and just absolutely adored. I think the same happened with The Final Empire, but this one, not so much. Like I had to tell myself to read it because I was reading it for a readathon rather than wanting to actively pick it up. So a little bit disappointed, but I did still enjoy it to some extent. I do love political fantasies and I liked seeing the intricacy of the story. I can't say I was particularly blown away by the writing and I will say I noticed a lot that everything was just he said, they said, she said. And I'm not expecting it to be like overly dramatic adjectives everywhere, but when it's within just one piece of dialogue and it's that, after every sentence. <laughs> Gets a bit noticeable, you know? So yes, I wasn't really blown away by this one. So I did enjoy it, but I can't say that I was overly impressed. One thing it definitely did have in its favour is certain things in the story which took me by surprise. And I am intrigued to see where the story goes, so I will continue and read the final book. That's pretty much the only set of thoughts I have on that book, which I thought I'd have a lot more considering this 700 pages worth of story, but Apparently not. <laughs> so with those I finished the fantasy prompt, the contemporary POC, probably something else. I'm not actually sure at this point but I just feel happy because I finally continued a series that I've been meaning to continue since 2017 so good on me. <laughs> but with that I am just going to end this vlog here so let me know how you did in Bookoplathon, if you took part, how many pages did you read, how many books did you read, which one was your favourite, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already then please consider doing so. Down in the description box you'll find information to all the books I've just mentioned, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well so be sure to check that out if you haven't already but for now I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!